Hi YouTubers, this is Samuel Nigel on my new channel Samuel Apple. Today I'm showing you the new iTunes 10. As you probably know, yesterday Apple released new iPhone iTunes along with new iPods. iTunes 10 is available for download now. So let's get to the some of the new features. Uh, some of the interesting things that Steve mentioned are Pink, Apple's own uh, music social network, Apple TV, show rentals, AirPlay, which will be fully enabled in November, and new Apple TV support and new sync interface. So let's get going. Uh, what you can now see is Pink. Pink. What is Pink? Pink is an um, Apple's own social network for music. Steve itself mentioned that it's something like Facebook or Twitter, and it's, the similarities, of course, are obvious. What Ping allows you to do is to follow your favorite artists, see their pictures, movies, concert announcements, etc. What Ping allows you to do as well is to connect with your friends. You can see what others are listening, what others are purchasing, and Ping even makes a list of most popular songs among your friends. Everyone who has an Apple Store account, 160 million accounts, can have it. And of course, a big deal here is safety. So it's up to you to decide with whom you will share your information. The second big thing are HDTV show rentals, which I'm showing you now. As you know, this is a whole new thing. For now, just movies were available for rent. Uh, the new pricing of TV shows is better as well. From now, HD show rentals cost just 99 cents. But only ABC and Fox agreed with that kind of uh, pricing options. I will hope that others will soon join. As a bonus, your rental will be available for 48 hours since from the time you uh, watched it first. The first thing, the third thing, is better syncing. I must admit, I have not really uh, got it with this, but. Um, I noticed that the the whole interface of iTunes changed, as you can see, the buttons for turning off, and the bar which shows you the capacity of your iPod, iPhone, iPod, iPad changed as well. The next thing what Apple did is a release the new Apple TV. Uh, it will be available in four weeks on Apple's site. It says September. But, of course, you can pre-order it today. The device itself is very small and, I believe, well designed. What it offers is a simple user interface, access to internet, where you can watch YouTube, Netflix, Flickr and MobileMe, stream music, uh, watch movies, or see any of your favorite uh, photos. So device is really like plug and play system. You don't need a computer, you don't need to do anything. You simply read a thing you want and it downloads and of course later it erases. That's how Apple solved the problem with the new philosophy. They have a new philosophy for file storing and that's how they save the problem with no disk. So that's with the new Apple. TV with a pricing tag of just $99. But why am I talking, telling you this? The new feature called AirPlay will be very useful. See, in software 2.4.2, um, this is the first software where AirPlay is enabled. AirPlay is what we call today air sharing, but in addition to music, you will be also able to stream movies and pictures. This will be used through iPad, but more about this later this year. From now on, you will be able to print from iPad as well. There are a few minor changes as well in the, uh, in the iTunes, different icon in the dock. There's no CD logo because iTunes is going to sell more music than there will be CD sold starting 2011. The next and the last change I noticed is 
that iTunes automatically shows your album when you have, have more than five songs. So it's like more organized and it saves some space. Like you see now. So this was a quick overview of the new iTunes 10. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you subscribe me, support me. And please feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. See you next time.